Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and this is Human Bones. Welcome back to more Goddess, an RPG Maker production. Looks like he. I guess you can. Eh. Is clutching a letter? It seems all of my efforts of survival have been in vain. I've finally reached the cave exit, but it's been snowed in by an avalanche. I'm trapped here for good with those things. If anyone finds this letter, tell my wife I love her. Uh, he neglected to say who his wife was. So, way to go! Anyway, let's just... You know, go. I wonder. Okay, it's a. It's one of these, eh? Ran right out of Pokemon. This one. Okay, let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, it looks like I'm unconcerned with having to go through a specific area as long as I can get through. Uh, therefore. Mmm, that wouldn't work. Uh, I need a... okay. I got it. Ta-da! And it's a lot easier to go back the other way, I think. Maybe it isn't. Wait. You know, whatever. Uh... Branching paths. Well... Nope, those are stairs. Those are stairs. That's a letter, which I cannot reach. Can't make that jump. I think you could make that jump. Although, to be fair, you are supposed to be carrying around a, a hand cart. And you probably would struggle to do it with a cart. Um. I know, I'll throw the cart over. Maybe not. Okay, this is a little more complicated. Also, another letter. Hmm, well. Like so. Now, the trick is... Hmm, okay, I have to do this. So, I guess I get the letter. They're following me throughout the entire cave. I can hear them, but in the walls! And though the through the roof and in the floor basically everywhere no hmm. can I okay that worked I wonder if they filled up one of those holes maybe maybe medicinal herb can I no okay yeah, I bet that did fill up one of those holes then. Also, no encounters in here. I actually kind of like that. It gives it, it's a nice break. I called it. It's a nice break from, from having to fight monsters constantly. Four. Plus also, an area like this would get really damn annoying with a frequent internet, er, frequent internet? Frequent encounters. Do you hear me, Victory Road? You're annoying. At least in the old games you are. The last two generations have been pretty... fine in that regard. I guess. <laughs> you know what? It is totally possible for me to trap myself here. I'm just throwing that out there right now because I know my because I know you're watching this. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> this right here, if I moved it to the left, I would be able to, I would trap myself in here and be unable to escape. That is not good puzzle design, so you should fix that. Um, it's another letter. They chased me down a corridor, and they and only stopped after I threw all my food at them. I now have nothing to eat. Will I ever make it out of this hellhole alive? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but no. No, you won't. Okay, is there a thing here? Wait a second. 
I just realized. Okay, I know what the monsters are. Seriously? That's what you went with? I will admit, I gotta say though, good placement on the subtle clue, because it took me a while to spot, spot it. I thought it was cracks in the wall. I have finally made it to the frozen caverns that connect the hidden valley to the rest of the world. It's strange, but as I enter the vast cave room near the cavern entrance, it seems as if something was frozen underneath the floor. A deceased animal, perhaps. I couldn't get a good look at it, as it was dark. But it appeared quite large, and something else that was strange about it. Spoiler alert, it's a big ass ice spider. Um. Wow. Okay, that's really big ass. I mean, I know I said it was big, but I gotta admit, that's larger than I was expecting. Um, let's just save right here. Holes appear everywhere. Um, horse sized spiders. Ah. They're moving so quickly! Why are they so fast? But there is a finite number of them. So, you know, I can just kill them all. Probably. And then I get all the spider silk. A 100 ducats. And supply bag. I'm not gonna go out of my way to kill the. Okay, seriously. Um, that way. Wait, how do I? Okay, I see. But yeah, I'm not gonna go out of my way to kill all the spiders. Although I totally could. I don't think it's worth it. Probably. I don't know. Um. No, that one. Yeah, with that kind of level up gap, it's not worth it. I'll kill you, though. I wish I could tell how much I could sell stuff for before I was in a shop, though. Because I bet spider silk is worth a lot. Maybe. Unless it's worthless. Because it's obviously something for selling. But I don't know how much it's worth, so I don't know whether or not it's worth grinding spiders for the sake of selling all of their, uh, silk. I see. Hmm. Still, little spiders is nothing compared to this thing. Okay, you know what? This is annoying. They're too quick. So... That settles it, I'm not gonna grind them. Although I totally could, but no. They're too quick for me to be bothered to hunt them all down. As a general rule of thumb, I don't really want to be grinding anyway. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I quickly made my way to a nearby campfire. Wait, so the campfire was already here? Oh, it was! Go figure. Hello there, stranger! Come sit by the fire! It's a cold night! Thank you, sir. EGATS! What's that you have there? Is that a girl in your cart? It is. She's badly hurt. You wouldn't happen to be a healer, would you? I'm afraid not, miss. I'm nothing but a humble merchant, searching for new markets to trade my wares by. I thought as much. Well, anyway, you don't want to go south through the caverns. 
Well, they are insane, but honestly, it's the spiders. That entire cave system that connects the valley? It is infested with THOUSANDS OF GIANT SPIDERS! Hmm, actually, ice spiders. That sounds kind of familiar, too. Hmm. Egaz! What a nightmare! My thoughts exactly. I'm still brushing up the spider webs. Speaking of troubles, whatever happened to this young girl here? She seems rather... dead. It's a long story. Let's just say... Well, she was beaten horribly. To the east? What's to the east? A mead hall. A mead hall. Okay. It would at least be able to get her- help her be comfortable as she <laughs> dies, is what he's thinking. I wonder if that's the wolf I saved before. It is indeed. How the hell did it get through all the spiders? It was a monstrous beast, really. But there was a calm to it, a profound air of serenity. If it had wanted to hunt us, we would have been dead already. Well, he would have been dead, I'm not so sure about you. His eyes glowed in the night air, and his head... Excuse me. And his head bowed as it approached, slowly. It's not gonna eat me. I'm the narrator of the story. That means I have immunity to things that will permanently kill me, such as being eaten by a wolf. Well, that's kind of sweet. Back in the frozen forest, he witnessed me take down the Auric. He followed me, my scent, and now he was here. It dawned on me. Ah, uh, okay. Have some snow chicken. Seriously, I have like two dozen of these things. A wolf named Wolf. Seems a little bit generic, but I'm trying to think of a different thing I could name him. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see if I can remember that name. Nope, I thought of a better name instead. Uh, wait, what? No, how do I... That's stupid. Okay. You shall be... No. Chansey! Wait, no, I spelled that wrong. Chansey! I think that's still wrong. Isn't there an S here? Yeah, that looks right. It's not named after the Pokemon, but it's named after someone else who I'm pretty sure is named after the Pokemon, despite what the author... T or despite what that author of that character t may have told me otherwise, I don't care. She's totally named after Pokemon. Uh... But not, but not this wolf. 
This wolf is named after someone else who happened to be named after a Pokemon. Um. Hello, Chansey. Do you like your name? Okay, maybe I should have done a better name. I don't care! We're sticking with it. Who'd have thunk it? I'd find this much entertainment out of the middle of nowhere. I certainly would have wouldn't would not have thunk it. Well, Chansey and I are hungry. And he just ate my last chicken leg. Hmm. He has a heavier outline than Red does in his portrait. That's interesting. Yep. Aww. We got a wolf! Well then, good morning, my mysterious friends. I suppose you'll be up and off soon, then. That's right, to the meat hall in the east. I wish you good luck, then, because I'm apparently of this accent now. And of course, you can always purchase anything you'd like from my wares, if, if you'd like. I do believe I'll stay in these parts. They're as fresh and crisp, and the sights are truly remarkable. Are, are you talking about me? You're talking about me, aren't you? Well, I won't let a little flattery stop me from buying shit from you, so... Okay, 25. That's actually a pretty good price. Um... Coffee! No. Mmm, leather outfit. No, I don't want to talk to you. I hit the wrong button. Um, I don't want skills. I want... Okay. That's good. And... You have, you have no weep on. And... You have only willpower skills. Oh hey, you can heal, your, heal people. And you can attack everyone at once! Works for me. Um, I wonder if you can use items. <laughs> that would be a little bit gamey, but it would be it would be kind of really bad if you couldn't. So, and we'll buy some coffee. Just one though. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. But I do want to steal your bread. Why does everyone have all this bread? You know, that's a stupid question. Of course everyone has bread. Bread is great. Um, I guess when he said nor- er, east, he meant northeast. What with there being a mountain there and all? Is there anything over here? No. Um... Bridget Scorpion and Crystal Wasp. Well, the wasp is new. Also, definitely not warm-blooded, but you know what? I know there's enough mosquitoes in the up north. Well, I say up north. Really, it's more east-ish for me. Well, actually north as well, come to think of it. Because we're in the Yukon. Hmm. I digress. Let's just kill them all. Okay. But what? Don't, don't put me to sleep, please. Stop doing that! Okay. This better wear off after... Really? This better wear off after the battle is over. Oh wow, I got way more experience now. And I'm no longer asleep. Which is good. That's not what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. And... of course not. Okay. Um... what the... Oh, so it's like a cloud, I think? Hmm. Can I walk on that? 
Maybe. Okay, this time we kill the annoying wasp first. Whoops, I attacked the wrong thing. Okay, um, let's try this. Okay, that deals slightly less damage. But nonetheless, it's a fairly impressive attack. I can walk on that. Okay then. Hmm. More east fish now. Wow, that's a lot of scorpions. Good thing they aren't poisonous scorpions. Although they do have stingers for some reason. Not sure what's up with that. You know, I should have attacked two different people. Scorpions. Whatever. Let's, uh, do that. And that. Okay, you just hit the same person twice. Not really your best targeting, but... Well, oh well. Hmm. Seriously? Come on! Hmm. Actually, I guess I need to kill one in order to get access to the thing. Okay, well in that case, I may as well just use my willpower to heal. I think that would be superior in this case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would. Liquid- oh, okay, you can only heal yourself. That's important to know. So, I don't have a true in-battle healing yet. Only, like, narrowly specific stuff. Oh hey, there's a bridge. Did I miss the lodge? Or is it across the bridge? Jarl Folk Beard Bridge. Hey, you! Yes, you. Do you see anyone else? Yes, you. Who else would we be talking to? What do you think you're doing crossing this bridge? We don't know you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Red. And this is Chansey. And this here is in this card is Lavina Moffett. The sign here says this is Yarl Folk Beard's Bridge. Does he rule here? Are you his soldiers? Ha! That's real funny. Us! Yarl Folk Beard's soldiers! Him ruling this land! You're gonna make me die of laughter! Please explain. Really? Wow. You're gonna bloody regret this. Because you'll be really, really, really bloody afterward. Um... Arrows, I guess. Um... Okay. Whoa! Ah! That hurt a lot! Um... Red. Why does everything hurt so much? I would have been actually really upset if that thing if that guy had KO'd uh, Red. Okay, um, let's use this. And also this. Okay, one cell sword down. And both of them are stunned. This is good. Cell Sword B is next. Okay, we good. Uh, you attack, and I think you're gonna lick your wounds. Evaded my attack? Well, evade this, you bastard. Okay, I need to heal Red again. Mmm, that's the last of my bread. 
Which is a little bit disappointing. And now I can do Frenzy. So let's do that. And he's dead! We win! Camouflage and Growl. Who is this asshole? Presumably the mysterious swordsman. Who are you? And why are you attacking me? Ran for his life, he did. Um. Not status. Skills. Camouflage. No random encounters for 40 steps. That seems way too expensive, actually. Uh, growl. Take a turn to get angry. It increases my willpower by 30. Nito. Medicinal herbs. Okay then. I guess the Yarl's on the other side of the... That's gotta be it. That has got to be it. Let's... Let's save. Hiro! Hello there! Where do you come from? You're not here to steal from us, are you? Um... N n no? Good morning to ya! That means good morning! Don't you speak in northern? I don't know what's going on here. Don't encourage me, okay? Don't encourage bad accents. What's this? Who comes into my hall? There's a lot of people in here. My name is Red, and this is my wolf, Chansey. I'm cold and hungry, and I've traveled a long way. And I have an injured companion as well. Hmm. Trouble of outlaws, then. Well now, strange woman. You'll have to slow down there a bit. You're addressing Jarl Folkbeard, and you're standing in his meat all. Well met, Jarl. First I must ask ya. From where did you come? From the west. I come from the hidden valley across the river many miles away. The valley out west, you say? But you're a long way from home, aren't ya? Yes, like I said, I've traveled many miles for help. My friend is badly hurt. I hope you can help her. Hmm, we'll get to that in due time. But first, I must ask something of you. On your travels here, did you run across any ne'er-do-wells, perhaps? If by that you mean soldiers with swords who attack on sight, then yes I have. On the very bridge that bears your name. Drat and double drat. All the way up to my bridge now, are they? They're getting more bold, it seems. Did they do arm to ya? They tried. But they failed. Came pretty close, actually. I fought them off with the help of my wolf. Their leader was a bit of a hassle. That's that's what I just said. Indeed. He looked into the distance, and a glimmer of what looked like hope passed over his eyes. I suppose you have a right to know what's going on, then. I'm... I'm not the only Jarl in the north, you see. There's a Jarl Olaf to the east. The two of us have always quarreled. Lately, though, things have gotten worse. You see, we're peaceful people, er, in truth. We don't have strong men of fighting age here anymore. They've all gotten old or traveled south. So, we're left with old men and children, and some women, too. Yes, especially the women. <laughs> As a result, we're ne we've never escalated to the point of drawing arms against each other. However, we do have resources, natural and our monetary. Recently, 
Yara Olaf's been taken to Iron Cell Swords in order to lay claim to my land. I see. Yes, and their captain, the well armored Veiled Fellow, is especially troublesome. He's a fearsome fighter, he is. I know they made camp that. or to know they made camp that far into my lands, it troubles me greatly. But you. You fought them all off. For that, I must thank you. Perhaps they will stay to the east where they belong now. Indeed. Ah, thank you. And I'm afraid I've rambled up about my own troubles far too long. You said something about an injured friend. Yep. I downplayed Levina's natural defects, for fear of the Jarl being just as superstitious as the people of Snowbrook. I simply told him that she was the victim of drunken troublemakers on the road, and hoped he wouldn't ask too many questions. He didn't. He seemed thrilled that I had fought off the cell swords, and I used that to my advantage. Claiming my martial skills would belong to his cause as long as I stayed in his hall. All the while, the woman took Lavina in. For the first time in a long while, I felt at least some relief. She looked like she was. She looked to be doing better, although still would not wake. Eventually, the Jarl gave us his... Uh, the night came, and the Jarl gave me his blessing for us to stay in the hall. And I fell asleep that night. Sure! And this is a good time to stop, actually. So, join me next time when, in all probability, we go kill more cell swords. Until then, this has been Let's Play Goddess, an RPG Maker production. Sword... Well, not production. Uh, anyway... Until next time, bye.